Hi guys, welcome to my coffee show. My name is Jack and today we are talking about this. This is a filter basket and a pack screen from ENB. That's the all-in-one filter basket. Big thank you to ENB for sending us those two. I will put the links in the description. You will also find my affiliate links for Amazon in the description if you want to support the channel this way. For the last week, I've been drinking so much espresso. Honestly, I have a pure caffeine in my veins. I really wanted to check and test and see what can I get from those two. So today I will approach it slightly differently than I normally do. Obviously I will pull a shot or two. I will talk about this basket and I will talk where it plays in between all the baskets that I have. It should be exciting video. If you're as excited as myself, definitely click like, sit tight and enjoy. We all know ENB is a part of IMS group. They specialize in the kind of experimental stuff, doing some filtration filters, some pour over stuff. They do mocha pots, lots of interesting stuff on the web website check it if you can and one of the viewers unfortunately I don't remember who said Jack there is that new basket try it and here it is guys it comes in the no-nonsense box looks professional but nothing fancy when you put it against pedantry coffee lab box well <laughs> uh, there, there, there is a difference it's relatively cheap 30 pounds 35 pounds you take basket out of the box and well it definitely looks interesting not many baskets you can find like this 257 holes at the bottom and those are the huge holes but there is that membrane inside I'm not sure if you will be able to see it that works like a filtration almost like a paper filter this membrane is photo etched to the bottom of the basket and it has filtering power of 150 microns now regular filter baskets I have here IMS filter basket their filtering power is about 250 to 350 microns so definitely this one filters much much more think about it as a paper filter at the bottom but it's already attached so you don't have to play with it this basket weights around 36 grams come in three sizes the smallest one probably just for the single shots or something that I don't play with myself I would recommend to either go for the biggest one or if you want something between 17 and 18 grams you can go for the one in the middle the interesting thing and something that differs this from other regular filter baskets well the name suggests it's all in one so they wanted one basket that would work for many different brew methods so obviously you can pull espresso from my own experience it works in a whole range of ratios you can also do a filter coffee by the way we're going to do a filter coffee using this filter basket today on my descent and it also works for cafe creme cafe crema this is like a very long espresso maybe one to five ratio you can find different definitions online i would use it more for like allongé on descent they aim this basket for like a professional barista's professional setups instead of swapping between different baskets you can have one basket that works with everything and another interesting thing that came with this basket although you have to buy it separately it's this pack screen the best looking pack screen that I had so far what I love about this pack screen it comes with this so that's the little magnet that helps you to remove that pack screen after you finish the extraction very clever solution i never thought that i will need it but since i got it i use it all the time they could make it any shape they wanted to and they made that little cute tamper that magnet by itself is something that i would buy this pack screen for in the last week i've been playing with different brew ratios with and without pack screen different filter baskets and so on for medium roast coffee i use that bridge coffee roasters and for more fruity slightly lighter roast coffees i use this caravan coffee roasters this is the one that i will pull right now today's shot i will use cafetec flat max 2 it works really nicely with that fruity coffee 19 grams of coffee in i will be aiming for 39 grams of liquid out the extraction looked mm, the shot is ready the first problem is cleaning of this basket because there is that membrane down there a little bit of the coffee dust likes to stick inside there i'm not sure how that would work in the professional environment but you definitely Definitely have to spend more time to clean this one than a regular IMS bus. No, the most important as always is how the coffee tastes. I had so much espresso today. I'm not sure if I can stomach one more, but I will try. So cheers. 
what you can expect increased level of extraction it runs fast it's not easy to dial in even though i spend lots of time doing the pack prep every now and then i get massive channeling i've noticed if i thump too hard i get more of that channeling i've noticed that if i go to 18 grams of coffee instead of 19 i get more of that channeling in the cup lots of aroma lots of depth clarity slightly less body now what this pack screen does it takes away some of the edge of the flavor notes so if the shot without pack screen is too harsh if the notes are too harsh for you you can use this one i tried to figure out how this pack screen affects the time of extraction and i couldn't sometimes it's faster with it sometimes without but to say something is good or bad you have to compare it with other things as you know i have few baskets i have this basket that's the reneka filter basket but it is small that zone of extraction at the bottom is small so that wouldn't be a fair comparison i also have this so that's the enb super fine basket this one has that membrane underneath but this one is not photo etched the filtration power of this membrane is 170 microns but again this one the small zone of filtration at the bottom so two baskets that i've been comparing this one with are my favorite waffle so spirit basket so that's the very expensive high extraction filter baskets from taiwan number of holes of this one 2916 if i remember correctly and i've been comparing it with this ima filter basket so that's the the biggest ims basket probably below 600 number of holes that can also fit up to 21 maybe even more grams of coffee so where this all-in-one filter basket stands it reminds me more of waffle than of the regular ims when i use the same grind settings like an average shot of espresso waffle it took 32 seconds all in one took 34 seconds that regular ims basket it took 47 seconds if they are dialed into the same time of extraction this regular filter basket flavor notes are muted you get more body but you lose pretty much most of the fruitiness you get nice chocolatiness if that's what you are looking for in your shot you may still like this basket but those two that they are they are on a different level when i tested the extraction with my cheap refractometer regular filter basket gave me around 19 and those two they both gave me around 23 percent extraction so much much more now in terms of taste if we run that shot in around 30 to 35 seconds probably waffle still gives me more i wouldn't say that waffle gives lots of body but against this basket you can notice more of the thickness of the shot of the waffle and also so slightly more of that uh, sharpness those different flavor notes all over what i've noticed with this enb basket even if i prolong the extraction 40 45 seconds i still get a nice shot of espresso while with waffle we're getting into the over extraction stage and also waffle works for me better with the ratio of two and a half and more but while this one performs really well in all the range of the race so to sum up this one is much better than most of the other filter baskets that i tasted in the same price range if we compare the best shot from waffle and the best shot from enb waffle would still win but this one offers wide the range of that pleasantness while waffle it's slightly more narrow yes there are other waffle baskets for different types of extraction but who can afford to buy all of them well definitely not myself so the answer to the question should you buy this all-in-one filter basket the answer is yes definitely try it and even if you don't like it you just risk what 30 pounds this will be great introduction into the high extraction filter baskets if you don't want to spend a lot now what about that pack screen i mean i love that uh, magnet but i'm not sure if i like the average shot with the pack screen more than without it but then again i like those sharp edges in my coffee if you don't if you never tried high extraction filter basket maybe get this one as well it can help i have so many pack screens now that maybe one day i should record a video about the pack screens if there is an appetite for that let me know in the comments i mentioned at the beginning that you can do much more with this basket you can even do a pour over using your espresso machine now you have to have the espresso machine with regulated flow i am lucky enough to have the decent with the decent you can get this one special basket you don't put the coffee into it but it works like a shower screen you lock it in and then you do a pour over into your whatever v60 kalita whatever you like but there is also a profile on decent for a kind of filter coffee with the 
regular basket. You put the coffee into the basket, let's say 20 grams. We're going to use this coffee from La Cabra, La Cabra. You do your WDT, you don't really do tamping. Well, you may if you want, I will just even out the top. In this particular profile, they recommend to use paper filters at the bottom. But because we have that all-in-one basket with that extra filtration system, we won't use the paper filters here. And then I will just lock it in. There will be introduction of water, so higher water flow of four, four and a half mils per second or so for the first few seconds. Then there will be a blooming phase, long blooming phase. And after that, they will increase the water flow to about three mils per second. What we're aiming for here, 100 grams of liquid. And then we dilute it with 200 grams of water. We end up with uh, something. We have a coffee. You may notice the color. It's not as clear as you would get from, uh, let's say, V60 or from Oria. Let's see what we got here. Cheers. Very sweet, very balanced cup of coffee. To be honest, I had so much espresso today. I probably tasted 12 shots already. I'm not tasting that much of the nuances, but I tried this brew method in my rehearsals. And yes, you can extract very, very nice flavors. Is it better than a regular pour over? I wouldn't say so. I'm getting a little bit more body. Most people would enjoy that. It is very consistent. Now guys, if you are still here listening to my over caffeinated rambling, that means you are a fan of this channel. Definitely click like if you haven't subscribed subscribe, maybe you even join the membership club. So if you are in the market for the filter basket, high extraction filter basket, because I believe this one is a high extraction filter basket, consider this all in one basket. It works really well for espresso. You can even do some kind of pour over if your machine allows you to do so. I won't be doing allongé today. I had too much coffee. I would not survive that. But yes, it works for that as well. So very nice basket, very versatile. The zone of pleasantness is very wide. So even though specific shots are tasty, here with the waffle on average you get a very very good results with this one and this one cost only what 30 pounds or so so yes this all-in-one filter basket that got my recommendation in the comments if you already tried this one let me know what you think i know a few of you already bought it are there any other filter baskets you guys think that we should try on this channel let me know in the comments as well but for today thank you very much for watching my name is jack this is my coffee show and hopefully i will see you soon thank you bye